Welcome to Electra Online. Another amazing feature of the surface of Mars is Hellas Basin. Not so much because we could take a picture of it from space and it's clearly visible, it's not really that visible, but there's an enormous impact crater on Mars. It's one of the largest impact craters of the entire solar system. The basin is 3,000 kilometers across. That's about 2,000 miles. Now, the reason why we know that it exists is because back in the year 2000, the Mars Global Surveyor took very accurate measurements of the altitude, the elevation, of every part of the surface of the planet. And when we finished that exercise, we came up with this very famous map. So you can see this map, I don't have a bigger picture of it right now, but you've seen this before if you looked at textbooks, and you clearly see that the northern half of the planet is much lower in elevation, that's indicated by the blue color. We use blue for low elevation. If there was an ocean, that would be an ocean right there. And you can also see a very dark blue color right here amidst some very orangey, reddish, and yellowish color which indicate much higher elevations. Right in the middle of this relative high land, relative to the rest of the planet, we have this enormously deep basin that's 2,000 miles across, and notice the depth is from five to six miles lower than the rim of that crater. It does indeed look like a huge, humongous crater. It was an impact that was long ago during the heavy bombardment. We estimate that the age of the basin floor is about four billion years, and so it made a crater about five to six miles below the walls of the what we call the outcropping of the impact, and it's about four miles or so below the rest of the surface of the planet. So it was an enormous impact about four billion years ago. And because of that, of course, if it was a, back in the days when there was a wet planet, we assumed that was probably an inland ocean or an inland sea with lots of water ice and lots of water, because it's of course colder on Mars than it is on Earth, but it again would be a source of water, like an ocean, inland ocean. It is unusual, we don't see very many places in the solar system where it's so recognizable that we have this huge impact crater. Now the result of that impact, notice that in a circular pattern all the way around it, we see a much higher elevation in a ring-like shape around that. So we, what we see here is that there's enormous debris field and that debris field is considerably higher than the area around it. We estimate that this enormous impact from a very large object pushed down made that enormous crater, pushed an enormous amount of material out that resettled as a huge debris field hundreds and several thousand miles away from the source of impact and caused this entire area to be higher in elevation because of the carving out from the impact that happened four billion years ago. So this entire structure, both the crater and the debris field around it, which is much higher in elevation, which is a ring-like shape around the impact zone, is all a result of this enormous impact about four billion years ago. That kind of gives you a feel for when the planets first formed about four and a half billion years ago, that there was a period of hundreds of millions of years where a lot of the debris that was left in the solar system continued to pummel the various planets and moons that were in existence at the time, including Earth. And that's also part of the reason why Earth ended up with a moon. An object large enough was able to knock a piece off the Earth to turn into a moon. That didn't happen on Mars. However, we did see some enormous results, an impact crater here, a slightly smaller impact crater there, and then we assume the largest impact in the solar system was probably what caused the northern half of the planet to be a low-lying area because of this huge impact that happened then as well. So that's theory. We're not 100% sure, but it's probably the best explanation and most likely event that it happened. But there's no question that the Hellas Basin was the result of one of those large impacts. And that's another one of those amazing features on the surface of Mars. So it's 2,000 miles across, so it would have an area roughly the size of the United States. It is huge. <laughs> Not quite as wide, but it's taller in this direction, so yeah, it would, uh, would be quite big. So um, on the lower little circle there with the Mars on the bulk, uh -huh. what's that little bright L-shape? little orangey, double, small one, yes. Oh. Oh, this right here, that's actually a cutout to show the interior of the planet. 
So oh, at the very, man. yeah, at the very inside, you see the metal core, which is much smaller in size relative to the planet than Earth's metal core. And then you have the, the, uh, the mantle around it, which is much bigger in relation. So yeah, it's a little cut out. Can't quite tell from that far away. No, I can't. <laughs> All right.